All right, you guys. So today we're going to get a look at the Vintage Collection Tuscan Warrior and Massive Figure from the Book of Bubble Fett series, guys, uh, in the Vintage Collection line, guys. So uh, some really, really cool stuff. We're going to get a look at uh, these two figures. Uh, this thing retails at about $27, uh, about $28, actually, uh, here in California. Uh, however, uh, Target currently has this on clearance, and that, uh, that clearance actually may have ended yesterday. I'm not sure, but I did find this on clearance Saturday um, for uh, the price of $13.99. So I went ahead and picked it up. We're going to get a look at these two figures. I'm sure you guys have probably seen reviews on this figure, but I thought I'd take a look at it and then, of course, get it in a really cool little diorama, as you see, uh, which we kind of have set up here uh, already. So we will uh, partake of that at the end of this review, but we are going to get a look at the figure and the box. So let's go ahead and get started, guys, with the box. So, of course, with the box, you have your Star Wars, Boba Fett, Tuscan Warrior, and Massive uh, logos there. You see they're uh, showing you that the mouth on the Massive uh, does move. It is articulated. And then, of course, you do have the Massive there. You have your uh, Tuscan Warrior uh, there, Kenner logo, and a nice little diorama on the front of the box as well. Uh, warning label and your uh, four and up logo in the corner of the uh, packaging. On the side of the packaging, you see your massive there. Again, your Boba Fett Star Wars logo right there on the side of the packaging. On the back, you get a look at your Tuscan Warrior massive, uh, your figure set, everything that comes in the set, which includes the, I call it a Bantha stick, but I may uh, be mistaken with the name of that weapon, but uh, you have his weapon there. And then of course you have all of your readables, attention, Hasbro, all of that good information. Boba Fett logo, Star Wars logo at the top. Really, really nice. The other side of the box gives you a look at your Tuscan Warrior. And again, your Boba Fett Star Wars logo on the side. And then, of course, you guys, we are back around the front, guys. So we're going to pull this guy or this gal out of the box because I believe this is a female uh, character. Uh, I believe it was portrayed that way in the series, but uh, I don't know if that was ever confirmed, uh, nor was it denied. Uh, so we will get a look at her and the massive, uh, which is really interesting because the uh, figures that you see that I have out here, uh, these are Power of the Force figures. They are not fully articulated. Uh, if you uh, recall that set or are familiar with that set, uh, you can see that uh, these guys are uh, a bit dated in regards to the styling of the figure. Uh, the massives are also a part of the Power of the Force. Uh, they are not articulated. They're kind of stuck in that uh, pose. Of course, you see your uh, Bantha there, and we have another one of our Tuscan Raiders uh, riding on the Bantha there. So uh, just to give you a description of the uh, setting, uh, but obviously this guy is vintage. Uh, he is going to have far more articulation than uh, the figures that you see here, and obviously a more updated look as well. So we, we're going to pull those guys out the box and get a comparison between the two different versions of these uh, uh, Tuscans. So do please stay tuned. All right, you guys, so getting you a look at your Tuscan Warrior figure with your massive figure for the Vintage Collection. Uh, very nice figure, very cool looking figure. Uh, I just kind of pulled her out the box and kind of got her in a simple pose holding uh, the Bantha stick. Uh, and then, of course, your massive, uh, which is really nice, uh, especially compared to what we received in the Power of the Force line. Uh, I think he's really cool, and, I, and and he does sort of fit with the other Massives. The only issue is that he's a little bit smaller, which is okay, because you can kind of say maybe he's a younger, uh, maybe he's a pup. And then the, uh, obviously the colors uh, are a, a bit off, but uh, they are definitely in sequence. So uh, you can easily explain that by saying that it's a, this is a young Massive uh, who is not uh, fully grown uh, to the uh, extent uh, of the uh, Power of the Force Massive. Uh, it is a very, very nice uh, set for your vintage collection. Uh, as you can see, I think it, it does fit uh, very well in a diorama setting. Uh, and then, of course, 
your uh, Tuscan warrior is just an absolutely awesome looking figure. It's something different uh, that we haven't seen with these particular guys. We, we've never seen them in these different wardrobes with the different uh, configurations of the material that's worn around the neck. Uh, and then of course, uh, it's, it's just a different style uh, uh, addressing for your Tuscan Raider uh, that we have not seen in the Star Wars universe. So uh, really excited to add this particular version of the Tuscan Raider to my collection, guys. So uh, we're going to get you a closer look at this figure, guys, as well as the massive guys. So uh, let's go ahead and get you a closer look at these two figures. So starting with your Tuscan Raider, uh, again, just a really, really nice job with uh, the design and giving us a different variation with the uh, neck dressing. Uh, even with the mouth open is really nice. And then the head dressing as well. Then you have this that goes down the middle of the skirt. Then of course you do have your soft goods for the skirt as well, which is really nice. And then you have these dread-like uh, extensions that hang off the, what I'm assuming is the helmet. I don't believe it's hair, uh, but it does mimic uh, the appearance of some kind of hair. Um, it is a plastic mold, but uh, still nice nonetheless. And of course you have the molding around the shoulders to mimic uh, armor. Uh, so definitely a warrior amongst the clan, uh, something different that we just have not seen uh, from this particular species or creature in Star Wars. So really nice. So underneath the skirt, you have uh, pants and the covered shoes as well. So just, just to get you a look at what's going on underneath the skirt. And then even the cut of the skirt, it's, you know, specifically designed to expose the uh, boots a bit. Uh, it's not rounded off. It, it, it comes with a, um, a cut section uh, to expose the boots, which is a, a nice little touch. Very, very cool. And then, of course, you uh, get her weapon, which is very nice. And in the Book of Boba Fett, we did learn the origin of the weapon, the uh, nature of the weapon and why it's such a sacred weapon to these Tuscan warriors. So really, really nice, very nice look to it. It's got a silver tip and, the, and obviously the brown is, mim is to mimic the wood that is taken from the tree uh, where you go on that psychedelic trip that Boba Fett took. And uh, that is a part of the sacred nature of these weapons. So a uh, nice look at the weapon. And it's obviously a lot longer uh, than the ones that we've received in the Power of the Force, which is my only uh, example of this weapon uh, up until this point. I don't think I've ever had a vintage collection Tuscan Raider at all. Uh, so uh, I think the weapon is appropriately sized uh, versus what you get with the Power of the Force. But we'll get a closer comparison between the two in just a moment. And then to get you a comparison between the two different versions and and again it, it is a bit of an unfair comparison because the power of the force has a definitely a different design versus what you get in the vintage collection uh, especially given the fact that uh, the articulation uh, is is vastly different so uh, again you get a look at the differences between the uh, weapons you see how he has uh, our Power of the Force version has the spiked version of the weapon with the edges around it. Hers is a bit more sleek. So just really, really nice. I, I, I like having both versions. I think both versions fit. I think you can explain the differences between the two versions. But really nice. So to get you a look at our massive uh, just really nice. I think he's a very cool design. You see the articulation in the jaw there, uh, which I don't believe you get with the Power of the Force versions. As I, as I said, the Power of the Force versions are just a simple mold. There is no articulation at all uh, with the Power of the Force. Uh, here you do have uh, articulation in the mouth. As you can see, the mouth opens. You can adjust it 
to whatever opening you like. Has a very good range. So really, really cool. He's very awesome looking. You also get some really good articulation in the neck. Then left to right, up and down, all the way around. So that is some really good articulation. You can twist the head in different variations. It'll probably go all the way around, but I'm not gonna do that. But you can get some really cool poses with the head and the mouth open with this guy. Each leg does swing back and forth, but there's no articulation in the elbows or in the uh, what would be the wrist joints. Uh, so you're limited there with the articulation. But all in all, he is really, really cool. Very, very nice figure. And uh, again, a very nice addition to the uh, collection to go with your Tuscan Warrior. Just a really, really nice, cool accessory. So when you compare the two versions, you have your Power of the Force version, which is here. And then our version that we're reviewing today here. And you can see there are obviously some differences. The size is definitely a difference there. Uh, but you can see the uh, likenesses between the two species uh, that you can say that, yeah, they're definitely the same species. And like I said, you can kind of explain the way the size of the Tuscan Warrior is massive as just a younger pup uh, version of these larger massives uh, to put on your shelf. So really cool, nice comparison. They're, obviously the color is different too as well, but again, you can explain that by uh, the younger one having uh, just a darker shade and it, it will lighten up as the pup gets older. So really nice. And then of course your power of the force also comes with the harness and chain, which is a nice touch. Uh, I wish they had included that with this particular set. You have it, your comparisons between your two massives there. Really, really cool. All right, you guys. So now we're gonna get our figure in a, just a cool little diorama, just so you can get a look uh, at what she would look like uh, on the sands of Tatooine uh, with her brethren. And uh, we have that setting already set up, guys. So let's go ahead and get into this diorama. Tuscan Raider Warrior with your massive figure. Uh, really cool set. I do think it's very, very nice. Uh, I, again, I did pick it up on clearance at $13.99 uh, versus the $27.99 I think that it retails at. 
And um, I, I don't know if I would have paid $27 for this, $30. Uh, I don't know if I would be as satisfied with it as I am picking up, picking it up uh, for $13.99. Uh, so uh, for that price, yes, I think it fits. I think it's perfect. Uh, that's the old price that we used to get these figures at. Uh, so to get two uh, figures, uh, or uh, maybe just a very cool accessory if you want to call, chalk the massive up to uh, a very cool accessory uh, for $13.99. Uh, I think you could do that as well. You know, in, in regards to the massive uh, itself, uh, it is a, a, a bit small. Uh, but again, you can explain that away by saying it's not an adult massive. And, and, and I, I think you can kind of get away with that. It most definitely fits with the um, massives from the Power of the Force. Uh, so I, I, I think okay there. Uh, and then in regards to the Tuscan warrior uh, herself, uh, she is absolutely awesome. Very, very nice. Uh, and, and again, I think she fits with your uh, Power of the Force uh, figures, uh, even though her dressing is, is a lot different. Um, but uh, I, she looks really, really good. And then, of course, the, the, her weapon uh, as well uh, is a little bit sleeker. Uh, than what uh, you would, would have received with your Power of the Force uh, version of the Tuscan Raider. Uh, but nonetheless, I, I think it all fits very, very well uh, and would look great on your shelf or in any diorama setting, as you guys saw as an example uh, just a few moments ago, guys. So let me know what your thoughts are in regards to this particular set. Uh, have you picked it up and did you pick it up for the $27.99 or uh, were you able to pick it up on clearance for $13.99 like I was? Uh, again, uh, I just went a little toy hunting yesterday, saw this uh, gal, picked her up for $13.99. And uh, I think for that price, I think uh, it is well worth uh, that particular price. Uh, for this particular set guys. So let me know what your thoughts are. Put those comments down below and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and of course guys from the father to the son to the Obi-Wan Force Ghost. May the Force be with you always.